guys today's session we'll cover completing a supplier master data record in sap s4 hana uh, erp so we'll just uh, log in the system for this uh, we need to as uh, we need to have uh, accounts payable accounted role assigned to the user as well as uh, we'll also need S4 C general rule for our user. We'll go to identity and access management and maintain business users app to verify the same that uh, required roles are assigned to the user so we'll select our user here and uh, once it's selected we can check the assigned roles here accounts payable accountant and general roles both are assigned which are required to complete supplier master data process we'll uh, click the logo of sap to exit to the main uh, area we need to identify the group here and uh, Okay, so this is business partner master data manage business partner app Once we have selected so we can click the create button there are two options person and organization in our case We can uh, select an organization Then we will start by inputting the Information about our business partner, which is a supplier We can select a grouping here, internal numbering uh, for standard use. Business partner role need to be selected. So I'll check whatever the available roles are and So this is supplier financial accounting. Supplier role is selected in business partner. <laughs> then we must input the name uh, to the supplier. Then uh, address information is also available. Street, house number, city, postal code. Or we need, we are entering the address information or contact information. The country also need to be selected. Although these are optional data, they are not mandatory. Okay, so Germany is a country and region and language can also be selected. Then we'll enter the language here. English in our case. 
you can just type in and search and the English is available and select it that's it the name of supplier and the role of supplier are available now and uh, we have inputted the along with the contact information and we just create it so the main form with further details will be available uh, for the business partner which is supplier in our case so we also need to enter the bank account information for this supplier we'll just uh, click the create button here and we can then enter with the account number bank country need to be selected which is Germany in our case then the account number must be entered whatever the account bank account number is we need to enter it here and uh, then uh, bank key is related with the bank key need to be entered here <coughs> Okay, after the bank key has been entered, the account name or the title of account need to be entered. And then there are fees for validity. Uh, during which time this account can be active. So this is very useful to input a date effective for this banking account because in in certain cases a supplier may have multiple accounts and uh, for for a specific reason the uh, supplier can choose to have for a specific period one account and for another period another account so this is very useful uh, in certain scenarios Then we can uh, save the information. Is the general data available? Uh, we can apply it. This is the roles tab, business partner role. We can see here the validity is also available, date validity. We can also change it. As per our requirements. And we can apply it.
you can create a company code by pressing the create button and here we can input the company code in our case 101 is a company and then we can uh, also assign to a laser account or reconciliation account So here we can input the GL account connected with the supplier reconciliation account. And we can also define the payment terms. Payment methods and you know sort keys sort key is also available here <coughs> various payment terms are already filled in we can select uh, one of them or if required we can create new one payment methods are also available it can be either check cash or online or whatever bank transfer methods and then we can apply it and we complete our entry here uh, for the supplier we connected a reconciliation account and also we define the payment terms and payment method and the address information so thank you guys for watching the video and uh, hopefully to see you uh, in the next video Thank you very much.